broad spectrum of people who you get to associate with. You know, it's it's kind of nice having the old guys around to kick around stories with and to and to to learn the old methods, to learn the old ways of doing things. Um, you know, in case our technology fails, like we have both relatively newer um, in terms of experience and in terms of age. I mean, we're we're part of the younger group of guys, um, which is actually pretty cool now. I go with you. You're, you're proud of them, and you hear them say, "Boy, that old man can take it. He goes in there and goes right after him." And, says, and I feel good when they say it. Well, they say when you go to the, if you go to the fire academy, you take classes. All right, this is the way the book te teaches you, but this is the way you do it for real, and you gotta learn from the old timers. The more it becomes your family, even if you're not. I mean, when I joined my one of my friends that was also a girl joined with me, Bridget, and I mean, she had had other family that was also involved, but she she thought it was more difficult because her family wasn't in it at the time, but then realized that it's a lot closer than most people assume it to be. So once you really get in, everyone kind of takes care of you, and they become like your family. It's great learning the knowledge that they have to pass down. Um, also, a couple of times, we've learned new things together. Uh, this was definitely a hands-on, If you know, you can take all the classes you want and never see a fire. I don't think I've ever been in a fire yet that there, there's not a single person that I, I wouldn't trust behind me or in front of me or, you know. We, we made the connection when I realized that he had my back when I realized that I can trust him with my life. Um, my first fire was a working car fire up by the high school. And I couldn't wait to get in the firehouse because I, as I grew up, I was chasing dad on my bicycle or chasing the fire truck. I'm around here and people will tell you that. But you know, once, once the tones go off, you know, I, it's time to get serious because I don't want to see anybody get hurt. And you know, because I care about these people a lot. With but when the whistle blows, we're all there. We work as a team. It's a team effort. You have to work together because you depend on the guy next to you. If, you get, if something goes wrong, you need that guy to get you out.